Hi, I'm Tracy Matthews of Flourish and Thrive Academy, and today I'm going to talk to you about questions to ask yourself before taking on a business partner or investor. Owning your own business can be super stressful, right? All the pressure is on your shoulders and it's up to you to make it or break it. Getting a business partner may seem like a great idea. About six years in business, I was feeling the pressure. I had so much to do and I really wanted a business partner to split half of the responsibility with me. For years, I'd wanted my sister to partner with me. She had a completely different skill set. She was analytical, detail-oriented, and definitely a spreadsheet lover. Plus, she wanted to be an entrepreneur, so I was super excited when she approached me about working together. While working with her was great for many reasons, partnering with her was not a good idea, mainly because my motivation wasn't in the right place. Partnership can be great when the scenario is right. However, taking on a business partner may not always be the solution to your problem. The same thing goes for finding investors. If you're thinking about taking on a business partner or an investor, ask yourself these questions first. Are you willing to give up control and report to someone else? You went into business for a reason, right? You have passion and talent and you're ready to pay yourself handsomely for that passion. You want to control your own destiny. Taking on a business partner or investor means you're going to have to give up control and report to someone else. Unless you're already at a significant level of sales, generally you're going to have to give some sort of percentage of equity away or the right to make decisions on your own. Is it worth it to you? Are your sales and profits at a level to take on a partner or an investor? Unless you start a business with someone else, taking on a partner or investor midstream requires your business to be financially sound. Consider that you'll be sharing the profits and paying an additional officer salary. Can your business really afford this? Plus, unless you're dealing with close friends and families, most angel investors won't even take a look at you until you're making substantial profits you may be giving away a significant portion of the ownership to someone else as well. Are you ready or willing to pay returns? If you're taking a financial investment from a partner or an investor, you'll need to be ready to pay a return on their investment. Depending on the arrangement, you may have a high interest loan or other return obligations. Is that worth it to you? Are you willing to be tied to someone? Once you take on a partner or investor in a partial ownership agreement, you are tied to them. What happens when they don't perform at your level or aren't as invested in the growth of your business as you are? That kind of sucks, huh? If they're a part owner and they're not performing at your level, you're going to have to have a hard time really removing them from the equation. And if things go south, you may be in a situation where you have to buy the other person out. And then finally, what's your real motivation for wanting a business partner? I've noticed that a lot of designers that we've spoken with and we've heard from in our community, and I can speak from my own personal experience, that the real motivation for wanting to take on a partner is usually something very different than you think. Do you want to pass over the work that you no longer want to deal with? Or is it that you want the opportunity to grow faster? Or is it that you think an influx of cash is going to help you solve the real root of the issue? Or is it something else? Take time to really consider the ramifications of finding a business partner or an investor. Often, hiring an independent contractor or an employee to pick up the slack may be the better answer. All right, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you. In the comments below, tell us the following. Are you considering taking on a business partner or investor? What's your number one concern with taking on a business partner? And if you already have a partner, what's it been like sharing the ownership of your business? If you found this video useful, please like the video and share it with your friends. And make sure you pop on over to flourishthriveacademy.com for more jewelry and business advice and other free trainings.